Hey, phone science users. So let's assume that you have your own domain and you want to use that domain for multiple sites. I've got you covered. I'm going to show you how you can do this. You're going to create a subdomain off of your domain for each site. And if that doesn't make any sense in terms of what a subdomain is, bear with me here for a second. We'll get through that. Also, let's assume that you have a domain and you're using that domain, though, already for a website that you already have built. Maybe it's a main website. Maybe uh, you're a real estate agent and your agency uh, already had a real estate website that you have all your properties listed on and so forth. But you still want to use that domain for your phone site sites, right? You can do this. But again, you've got to use subdomains of your domain. The reason for that is you can't have one. Uh, sorry, you can't have multiple sites on one domain. So what's a subdomain? All right. If you take a look here really quickly, I'm going to zoom in real quick. So like right here for this template funnel here for uh, convention signups, if I wanted to use this funnel at a con convention or a con uh, conference to, to get people to sign up and I can follow up with them later, I'd have them go through conventionleads.phonesites.com, right? So whenever you've created a site in phone sites, you have to use a subdomain off of our domain. So this is what you're going to be doing, though, with your domain, though, right? So maybe my domain is uh, livenet.com, right? Which I have that, and we're going to be using that subdomain or that domain here in a second. But I'm going to be creating subdomains off of livenet.com, and I'm going to associate it with these, uh, a couple of these templates, right? So let's let's zoom back out here real quick because I don't need to be zoomed in that much. Okay, so let's just pick maybe this open house funnel and this dream home funnel. Uh, let's just pretend for a moment that I'm a real estate agent and I want both of these uh, funnels on my custom domain. So I'm just going to open these up in separate tabs. Okay. And I'm going to go over to the config tab for the open house funnel. And by the way, this is just a, a template funnel that is in your, uh, you would be able to add this to your account if you wanted to. So whenever you go to create a site in phone sites, we have over, I think, 70 templates. Uh, you can go ahead and add either one of these in there if you wanted to. Okay, and then for the dream home funnel, I'm gonna go to the config tab. And I apologize if I keep bouncing back and forth. I like to use a bunch of tabs in my browser, but you can see right here, this tab here, this is for that open house funnel. And this is for that dream home funnel. So I'm going to be adding in a custom domain for both these. Now, if you've already added in a custom domain before with phone sites, you probably just put in the domain itself. So here's that uh, domain that I keep mentioning that I'm going to be using for this. So that's just the domain. But again, we want to use a subdomain in this case um, because I want to use multiple sites for the same domain. So what I'm going to do here is let's just say, I don't know, this one's going to be like dream home. So dream home .com, And I could use something else. I could put like go or apply or learn or, you know, basically anything that makes sense here. You'll want to probably try to keep it short and sweet. I'm just going to keep it in line with the name of this funnel. So dream home. And I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go back over to that other funnel. Let's just set up our custom domain for that too. So this is the open house funnel. So let's call this open house dot .com. Okay. And then let's save that. Now I'm not done. I still have to set up records in my DNS manager. And for this particular domain, um, I have it set up over in Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and set this up. I need to copy this IP address real quick, too. So let's copy that IP address. And this IP address is going to be the same um, every time you set up a new site in phone sites. So don't worry about that. Just always click right in there. That's going to copy it for you. Now let's head over to Cloudflare where my DNS records are set up. OK, let's set this up. So I already have an A record set up for the domain itself. Um, as you can see here, I already set that up quite a while ago, but let's set up new A records for these subdomains. So whenever this one was set up, initially, I, I would have used the at symbol, um, but Cloudflare changes that at symbol to be the domain itself, because essentially it's one and the same. We're pointing this at my domain. Okay, so let's set that A record up. So 
type is going to be A. Name is going to be, uh, this is going to be my subdomain, just the subdomain. So this one was what? Open house. And then the other one was, I think, dream home. We'll, we'll verify here in a second. So then I'm going to drop that IP address right in there. And I'll just leave that. I, I think I can't even change that, but we'll just, we'll just uh, go with the fact that it's set at auto. And let's go back over here. So that was just what? Open house, open house, and dream home. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and add in open house, select save. And then we're going to add the other one in here, dream home. Drop in that IP address. And notice I didn't put in a period after that. I did not put in, um, you know, like the dot .11 or anything. It it only needs the subdomain and add it in there for these A records for the phone site's IP. So let's go ahead and select save. And so now I have uh, A records set up for the domain itself, which is also associated with the phone site's funnel. And then also um, these two su subdomains. So now that that's all set up, if I go to dreamhome.levinet.com, I would expect to find a phone sites funnel. So let's go ahead and test that out. And while that's loaded, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and test out that other one too. So this one loads. Let's just refresh this real quick. Uh, open home. I didn't type that out. That's supposed to be open house. My mistake, guys. Open house. Give it a second for that record to propagate. And here we go. So here's that template funnel that we had created before. And here's that other one in there, too. All right, guys. So if I wanted to do the same thing for any other real estate funnels, like a, a virtual tour funnel, um, you know, anything else that would make sense for my domain, then I could easily set it up the same way. Uh, probably wouldn't want to put something in there on the same domain for a completely different business vertical, such as like solar. Um, if I'm a real estate agent, I probably wouldn't have a solar funnel or like a car dealer funnel or something like that on my domain. I'd probably actually want to use a different domain. All right, guys, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that makes sense. Do the same thing too. Again, if you want to use a phone sites funnel um, on a domain, if your domain itself is associated with your main website. Let me know if you have any questions.